Hi. Um, how can we have the mind of Christ? Uh, in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8, it says, uh, God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways. Uh, so what does it mean to have the mind of Christ? Uh, having the mind of Christ means that we, number one, we share the same values as Jesus Christ. Number two, we share the same plans as Jesus Christ. Number three, we share the same perspectives as Jesus Christ. So how do I personally have the mind of Christ? Well, number one, I must be born again. Uh, Philippians chapter two says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. So as Christians, uh, we have personal access, uh, a personal fellowship and personal communion with God uh, through Jesus Christ. Uh, as Christians, we have privileged access to the mind of Christ. Uh, so that's number number one. And I must be born again. I must be a, a born again Christian. Number two, I must yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11, it says, For what man knows the things of man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. So if you want to know the things of God, you need to have the Spirit of God living inside of you. Um, number three, uh, for me to have the mind of Christ is uh, I must meditate and think according to the Word of God. Matthew chapter 4, Jesus says, Man shall not live on, every, um, or on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Um, so for me to have the mind of Christ, I must live according to what comes out of the mouth of God. Uh, do you have the mind of Christ? Uh, if you don't have the mind of Christ, be born again. Uh, yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit and meditate on God's word. Amen.